In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a textured background image to your row elements inside your Optimize Press pages. So you can see here I'm on a site and what I'm going to do is scroll down to find a row where I'm going to add in a textured background. I'm going to use this row here. As you can see, I've got a row here. And I've got these three boxes in. So I'm going to put a textured background um, behind this. So what I'll do is I'll go to the clubhouse and inside the clubhouse, we're going to textures and then we see all the textures showing here. And if I scroll down, we can skip to other pages. I want to choose a dark image. So let's go with this one here, textured zigzag. We're using the zigzag black. So I click on the download button. It opens up here with the image. So I want to right click on this and then save image as. I'm just going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to go back to the theme and or the template I've got here and I'm going to choose up the live editor. Scroll down to the row where I want to add in the textured background. Let's keep going down. Here we are. So click on the pencil. And then from here I'm going to choose select file. Now you can select the file from here from your desktop if you know where it is. I'm using Chrome so I can just right go over to the bottom left and drag the image into here and drop it. That'll upload it into my image library. And I'm going to scroll down and click insert into post. You can see the image has appeared here. And then we're going to choose tile background. I'm going to choose horizontally and vertically. And I'll click update and you can see the background has appeared now. And from here I'll click save and close. And I'll refresh or reload the page. And there you can see it's added a di different bit of a contrast to this page by putting in the textured background. They really can liven up spaces within your site and just actually make them look much prettier. If you can find like lighter color backgrounds or dark ones that go well with the contrast that you're using on the page, you can just add a bit of life to it. Just then brings the entire page can look completely different just with a few textured backgrounds. So you could see with this going further, we could start maybe adding in a, a row color, like the same red that we're using here or this ready color, putting in a row border on top and bottom of this row you know, just to make it look slightly different. So if you want more textures, just go into the clubhouse, go to textures. There's loads there. You can go and download them and use them throughout your pages.